Did you know that something as simple as water could be the key to unlocking your best health? But here is the catch. It's not just about drinking water, it's about drinking the right amount for you. First, let me welcome you to our channel. I am Dr. E.I. Williams and a board certified physician. In today's video, we are diving deep into how much water you really need every single day to boost your energy, improve your skin, and enhance your overall wellness. Stick around because we are about to reveal the perfect hydration formula tailored just for you. Ready to take your health to the next level? Let's get started. First off, let's talk about why water is so essential for your body. Like the life-giving blood, water is extremely important in our body function. Now, our bodies are made up of about 60% water and it plays a vital role in just about every function. Water helps regulate your body temperature, flushes out toxins, supports digestion, and even lubricates joints. It's absolutely essential for maintaining energy levels, brain function, and keeping our organs in tip-top shape. Now, let's get to the big question. How much water should you be drinking every day? Well, the amount varies depending on your age, sex, activity level, and even if you are pregnant or elderly. Here is a quick breakdown of the general total daily water requirements for different groups. But be aware that the values given include all fluid intake, that is, beverages and foods, and not just water alone. For men ages 19 and above, need 3.7 liters or about 14 cups of total water a day. For women ages 19 and above need 2.7 liters or about 11 cups of total water a day. For pregnant women, around 3 liters of total fluid including food per day is adequate. For children ages 4 to 8, need around 1.5 liters or about 6 cups per day. For children ages 9 to 13 require about 2.1 liters or about 8 cups per day. For elderly men ages 65 and above need about 3 liters per day with some individual variation. Now, for elderly women ages 65 and above require about 2.7 liters per day, again with individual differences. By the way, an important source of water that is hardly talked about is the food we eat. Did you know that a significant amount of your daily water intake can come from the food you eat? That's right, fruits and veggies are loaded with water. For instance, Cucumbers, watermelons, oranges, and strawberries can provide up to 20% of your daily hydration needs. So, if you are munching on these throughout the day, you are contributing to your hydration without even realizing it. But don't forget, water is still your best friend when it comes to hitting your hydration goals. Now let's tackle a common myth out there. Does drinking water while eating impair digestion? The short answer is no. Drinking water with your meals actually aids in the digestive process. Water helps break down food, making it easier for your body to absorb nutrients. It also balances stomach acids and digestive enzymes, ensuring smooth digestion and preventing malabsorption. Guess what? 
your body is incredibly smart and it adjusts to maintain the right balance of digestive enzymes, stomach acids, and fluids to keep everything running smoothly. But wait, can you drink too much water? Yes, you can. Overhydration is a real concern and it can lead to a condition called hyponatremia. This occurs when the sodium levels in your blood become dangerously low due to excessive water intake. It can result in symptoms like nausea, headaches, confusion, and in severe cases, seizure or even death. So, why staying hydrated is important is just as important as not to overdo it. The key is balance. So how do you know if you are drinking the right amount of water each day? Here are a few tips for keeping track. First, use a measured water bottle. Get a water bottle with markers to help you stay on track. Second, track with an app. There are tons of hydration tracking apps that can help you log your daily water intake, like WaterMinder or HydroCoach. Third, set reminders. If you tend to forget, set hourly reminders to drink water throughout the day. By keeping track, you will know exactly how much you have consumed and how close you are to meeting your hydration goal. Now, there are moments when staying hydrated goes beyond just drinking water. It's about replenishing what's lost. For example, during exercise or long distance running, water alone may not cut it, as you lose not just fluids, but also essential electrolytes through sweat, leaving your body vulnerable to imbalances. Similarly, when vomiting and diarrhea strike, they quickly deplete both water and electrolytes, putting you at risk for life-threatening conditions if left unaddressed. In these cases, your body may not even be able to tolerate water, making IV fluids the only option to restore balance. The situation worsens if a fever accompanies diarrhea rapidly intensifying fluid loss. When you are in these critical states, relying solely on water could worsen the imbalance, diluting vital electrolytes and setting the stage for serious health risk. When hydration becomes severe, medical grade electrolytes replacement in a medical facility becomes essential and may even require hospitalization to prevent further complications and restore your body's essential balance. Remember, water is your secret weapon to feeling your best. But balance is key. So, drink up, stay hydrated, and take care of your body. Now, do you sometimes find yourself struggling to hit your hydration goals? Or, on the flip side, you are worried about overdoing it? with water intake? It's important to remember that everyone's body is different. The right balance for you might not be the same as someone else. So, if you are unsure of feeling confused, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional. They can give you personalized advice to help you stay on track, feel your best, and make hydration work for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more health tips. Stay healthy and I will see you in the next video.